Well, in the Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas. And make even dumber dry. I'm Nathan. I'm Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, are you mad today? No. <laughs> what happened? I'm so jammed up. You're jammed You're up? Jammed I had a up. Diet Coke. The caffeine <laughs> for the next 25 <laughs> seconds is surging, surging, fading, surging. <laughs> Let's keep it going. <laughs> Who else is here? I'm... <laughs> um, did I say already? No. I'm you Jacob. Did. I'm Julia. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, what are what are we doing? Oh, Tristan, we're going we big. Doing? We're going big here. We're going kaiju. That's what we're talking about. There's we're a new kaiju Godzilla big. film out there. It's out there. The trailer looks there. dope. Oh, it looked good. It was very classy. Yeah. Had some classy music behind it. Yeah. It looked very artful. I'm artful, sure. artful giant monsters. Mm -hmm. Love that. Mm-hmm. We're about to make some artful giant monsters. That's, that's us. So We're going to do it. There are lots of like weird and wild kaiju uh, oh, that have been created and fought each other over the decades. Kaiju are just giant monsters. You see them in Pacific Rims. You see them in, in Godzilla. So uh, I'm going to challenge you to draw a, a weird, obscure uh, kaiju. Thank you. Nathan. Yes. Your kaiju, your giant monster is mm -hmm. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> oh. Do you mean Frankenstein's monster? I mean Frankenstein. Do you mean Frankenstein's kaiju? <laughs> are you, are, do you mean I Frankenstein starring Aaron Eckhart? <laughs> are you talking about I Frankenstein? Uh, okay. So I'm talking about Frankenstein Conquers the World, I believe it is called, uh -huh. slash Frankenstein versus uh, the subterranean monster Baragon. Oh, oh Baragon. Um, Classic nemesis of Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> the so, subterranean monster. So here's the deal with Frankenstein. Is uh, it just Frankenstein? Look, I'm okay. leaving it. The whole, the whole deal here is that uh, I don't tell you what they look like and you mm -hmm. kind of imagine. Okay. So if you imagine if it's, if it's just Frankenstein, I guess you could do that. Uh -huh. If you could, but this is a—it's a kaiju. It's actually a kaijin. Okay. Oh, uh, important distinction. It is an important distinction for those of, for different. those of the the audience watching who maybe don't know the the difference. Uh -huh. Could you could you explain yeah, it? What's the alcohol Wait, can I percentage? Guess? On... Yeah, yeah. Guess what? What's a kaijin versus mm. a kaiju? Well, there I'm thinking about. Joke. Sorry, <laughs> you were making a joke about gin. I was. Yeah, uh -huh. I think Let's it got just out. Throw that. It out. got out there. What about a? <laughs> I think you got the whole joke out. What about a kaitonic? Was there more joke about it? Nope. Continue. You said alcohol content. Do a, do a guess. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is a kaijin what? like a foreign monster? Like he came from somewhere else? Oh, like a gaijin? Yeah. <laughs> like a kaijin gaijin. <laughs> I'll tell you at the end, okay? Because it gives you a hint as to what it is. Damn it. Okay. It's probably not <laughs> it's that. It's not then. that. It's absolutely not that. That's a pretty good that. guess though, right? I mean, Sure. I can't help but notice that Nathan's just drawn another rude ape. I just assumed you gave me one. <laughs> <laughs> rude ape and Stein. Like, I'm, I'm imagining this is like, this is an old movie, right? Yeah. This is an old movie yeah. where like they had to put a, a guy in like a costume. Uh huh. So I think it's just like one of them, too many wrinkles and yeah. hairs. Sure. It looks like Dr. Zayas. It's Dr. Zaius. Yeah. It's a giant Dr. Zaius, but it's uh -huh. Frankenstein. So yeah. he's got like the he's got like the this hair mm -hmm. sort of coming up the top. So the backstory of Frankenstein, uh -huh. uh, Frankenstein's kaiju, is like pretty wild. Basically, uh, Frankenstein had the the monster yeah. had been killed over and over again, but right. it always came back because of its immortal heart. Right, mm. as, and had an immortal heart, and eventually the Nazis got a hold of the immortal heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was the Nazis! Mm -hmm. And then they were like, "Hey, um, we don't, we want to make it a clone army of super soldiers, but we don't want the the Americans or the the Allies to get their hands on this heart. So we're gonna give it to Japan, and Japan is like, "Hey, we'll hold on to it." And then um, Japan was bombed uh, by uh, two nuclear explosions. I remember oh, their bombs. and the bombs made the irradiated, immortal heart. Irradiated the heart, and then eventually uh, Frankenstein grew up. Eventually. Eventually. It was a child at first, and then Frankenstein grew up because of the heart and uh, the explosion. That makes radiation. sense. Is this historically accurate? This is what happened. Is I this mean, what happened? No spoilers for history. 
No spoilers for history. Look it up. We're if you living want to know. in spoilers for history right now. Yeah, we are. Every breath I take <laughs> is a spoiler for history. Does Frankenstein wear clothes? Can you answer me that? I mean, no, I can't. You can't answer. You that. can answer that very easily, one way or the other, by drawing naked or unnaked. Naked or unnaked. <laughs> okay, I think he. I think he definitely wears a, a vest. Okay. That seems likely. I think he wears <laughs> like a like a one of these kinds of Oh, a tattered. A tattered vest. You think he's stuck in the style uh that was popular when he was first assembled? Yeah, I think so. It was a very vest heavy time period. <laughs> I think we can all agree. Uh-huh. It was the vest generation. Mm-hmm. It was the vest of times. It was the <laughs> verst of times. What are some of Frankenstein's attacks? Well, he's got like super regenerative powers, okay. as you might have guessed. <laughs> In the manga adaptation of this of the movie, he tears his own arms off to escape a cage. Oh, that's pretty good. And then instantly grows them back. Okay, so he's he's, he's gonna be holding his arms, <laughs> holding his own arms. Well, his his, his he's gonna former be former arms. He's gonna be holding his former arms with his with his newly grown arms. That's brutal, man, because it probably still hurts to tear your own arms off, I imagine, even if they're going to grow back. Mm-hmm. That's a power move. That's a power move, for sure. I think even if I knew my arms would grow back, I would still have a really hard time tearing them off. I'm also not strong enough to do that. That movie about that rock climber wouldn't have been nearly as dramatic if he could just, <laughs> they just, they just <laughs> came back, back immediately. <laughs> he just yeah. pulls it off, and it's like, well, all right. So many hands to draw. Yeah, you did. I hate this. I you. Yeah. You, you've, you've doomed yourself. You volunteered this uh, curse upon yourself. Yeah, I did. Are his legs going to be holding other legs too? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, each toe will have uh, been been broken off, uh, but there was a mistake, and it grows more feet out of the toes. So you have to draw just so many toes. Yeah, a lot of toes. Each toe is replaced by a foot, which also has toes on it. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Nathan, each toe is, is replaced by a foot that also has toes on it. Oh yeah. no, the skyline's getting in the way of his <laughs> legs. We'll oh. never be able to see him. What a tragedy. Oh no. <laughs> That's too bad. Uh, I was really looking forward to seeing all of those toes you said doing that <laughs> thing that you wanted. That, that you said. If only you had some control over this Yeah, it's process, too bad. It's, I, listen, I'm not the civil engineer. I didn't <laughs> plan the city. That's where they put them. That's where they put them. Pants? Pants? Yes or no? Yeah, he's wearing pants. He's wearing pants. He's, he's doing the Hulk thing where he's got the ripped pants. You can sort of see sort of the rest of the legs coming in. These pants there. are like massive. Yeah, like the vest. Where did he get these massive pants? They were part of they were irradiated pants. When they dropped the bombs, oh. They irradiated some pants. Yeah. They mentioned this in the wiki. Frankenstein's kaiju uh possesses caveman-like intelligence. The monster makes his own clothing. Oh, he made them? Yeah. Oh, that's oh. nice. How big d- does okay, that well, needle have to be? Well, in that case, they shouldn't be tattered because he made them. Where did he make? He made them. So this is going to be okay. We've got to we got to fashion this up a little bit. What did he use as the needle? The uh, Empire State Building. He used the yeah, Empire those, State Building. One of those needles on the tops of buildings that are yeah, like antenna. The antenna. He used yeah. The space needle. He used the uh, space needle. There we go. Oh, this is a nice vest. Yeah. Oh, he works so hard. He is he's wearing like some like a little bit of a shirt. I just maybe. wanted to be a tailor. <laughs> so like the I think the most of the movie is him making the clothing. And That's then, gotta take a while to learn. Yeah. Cause there's some trial and error mm-hmm. involved. I'm challenging traditional masculine stereotypes. <laughs> By learning to knit and sew. You're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the real monster here? Right. Me or society? <laughs> so I'm going to put just a thimble. A thimble on that old hand? <laughs> yeah, th- those were his sewing hands. He didn't need them anymore because he made the clothes. Oh, I see. How many thimbles do you use? Probably just all one. fingers, I think. Oh, a, yeah. The more Probably you have, the faster you can sew. Yeah, yeah that's how that works. Because um, none of your fingers are in danger. You ever, you ever see those thimbles that have little hands on them? So you draw more hands on the fingers? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's fun. <laughs> that is fun. I like that, but I'm not doing that. But I like that. But you're not doing but that. But I'm not doing that. You like it? But I like that. Okay. Oh, he's got a vest and a shirt? Yeah. 
He's this a fashionable. He's looking good. He's looking pretty good. I think Frankenstein is a good kaiju. I'm getting like wrestler vibes from him now. Now that he has that like very open <laughs> mm-hmm. vest and sh- and collared shirt. Yeah, uh-huh. you're absolutely mm-hmm. right. It's like he was at a nice dinner. You know, like the WWE always does those things where they, you know, they, they have the drama between two characters and they interrupt a wrestler in his normal life. This yeah. guy was like at a restaurant and then Godzilla came Godzilla in and flipped came the table. In, yeah. <laughs> Hit him with a foldable chair. It was still Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, <laughs> still. It's always Stone Cold Steve Austin just ruining someone's just trip to the grocery store. <laughs> he comes in in his leather vest and yeah. elbow drops him. Yeah. I was making hummus. This isn't a funny drawing, but I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's funny I think, and good. I, think I, like I, did, it. I think I did a pretty good job. I think like if I was designing a kaiju to be Frankenstein, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad about this one. And just put some more, more of these, more of these things. Let's oh, maybe he, can. maybe the the clothes is also sort of like patched, patched together because it's, it's hard to find giant, s- giant, <laughs> unbroken, unbroken pieces, unbroken of, fabric. pieces of, of fabric. But mm-hmm. like he did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. Um, better than I could do. Yeah, I could probably do better. This is Frankenstein. You ever sewed anything in your life? I bet. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> This is Frankenstein. This is Frankenstein. All right. Oh boy, he's just a big caveman. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's just a big man. It's just Phil Hartman from SNL. <laughs> Rest in peace. He's just got big old teeth and gross hair, and he's just a big man. I like the clothes that you made for your Frankenstein I... <laughs> much better than the tatters. Wow, and he doesn't even look that strong. He's no. just he's just tall. <laughs> he's he's got opposable thumbs, which is not you know, what a lot of monsters can say. You just gave me a guy. <laughs> I thought, you no. You more than a guy. No that's, way. That's, no way did Tristan look, just give me a guy to draw. That was. You, you know, gave me you a guy Jew. <laughs> what you. <laughs> no, Nathan, you're a guy Jew. Oh. Hey. Someone else go. All right, Tristan. I'm ready for a, a, a kaiju guy Jew of my own. All right. Your kaiju, Jacob. Yes. Burger Bear. <laughs> Burger Bear? That's a mascot. <laughs> oh my God, he sounds adorable. Burger uh, Bear? B- Burger, Burger Bear. Bear. Uh, All right. Not to be confused with Brother Bear. Or Build a Bear. No. Or Build a Bear. Mm-hmm. I would never confuse anything Bear. with Brother Bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, funny that Julia mentioned wrestling earlier because <laughs> Burger Bear. Uh-huh. is a real-life kaiju in the live monster wrestling league, also known as Kaiju Big Battle. Nice. Oh, oh I've heard of that. Very yeah. cool. I've heard of so that. So that, this is a current, this is something that is is ongoing still currently? Correct. Right, right I believe now? Uh, uh, Burger Bear wrestled this year. Okay. All right, Burger Bear still out and at it. Oh. Jacob's drawing a tasty burger. Yeah, we're going double patties. This is a this is a five guys. <laughs> if you'd ask for the normal burger at five guys, you get they literally you get give this. you this. You have to ask for a little burger to get a manageable amount of beef. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah. they're just gonna assume you're a big you're a big time beef boy. And I am sometimes. You're a burger bear. I mean, a burger bear would certainly be double patties. Oh yeah, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Nathan? <laughs> I'm not. Nathan, please don't joke with me I about would, this. I never joke on this show. I'm always completely serious. So it's like professional wrestling, mm-hmm. but all the all the wrestlers are, are giant monsters? Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's a pretty good article from Mashable that goes over a lot of this stuff. There's Dusto Bunny, who is part monster rabbit, part massive dust ball. Oh, that's Dust-o cool. Dust-o Bunny. Dust-o Bunny. Um, French Toast is actually a giant waffle with a snotty French accent, <laughs> also <laughs> called the Awful Waffle. <laughs> French Toast. Sounds right. The Awful Waffle. Uh-huh. There's Kung Fu Chicken Noodle, a cleaver-wielding martial arts master with a can of soup as his torso. A lot of food-based ones. Sure. Food monsters. Yeah. Look, it's kind of like fighting foodons. Okay, but they're big. Yeah. They're bigger. Hey, yeah, exactly. Have we talked about fighting foodons on this show before? I feel I, like we must have. I don't know if, if we have. Yeah, I, re- I don't think so. I remember when they announced fighting foodons was coming to the Fox Box, and mm-hmm. I was confused. Fighting foodons. <laughs> That's the Naruto theme. <laughs> Julia, <laughs> what a good reference Thanks. you made. Thanks, man. <laughs> 
I would like to like every <laughs> anime theme song just replace with like the, all the lyrics with fighting food on. So, you <laughs> yeah. know. Fighting, fighting food on, fighting food on, fighting food. Yeah, you <laughs> which, like that one? Which, which one, one are you which doing? Which anime is that, <laughs> Tristan? I'll let the comments guess what I was saying. <laughs> you were so blasé about it. Let, I couldn't let possibly me, let imagine me do it. One. Wait, okay, let me yeah, do yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, you do one. Fighting food ons, fighting food ons. Fighting food ons, fighting food ons. For people who don't know, uh, fighting food ons is like a Pokemon ripoff where all the Pokemon are food items. Yes. Oh, no so wonder, like, I no idea the what it Pikachu was. is like uh, uh, like a bowl of fried rice mm-hmm. with an angry with angry eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, please, please just. Give give me those those strong legs on this otherwise adorable. <laughs> he has to fight, <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> this bear must fight. This bear must fight. And if I don't give him limbs with which to fight, <laughs> how's he gonna do it? Wow, Jacob, it's beefy. It's yeah, a beefy legs. It's there. a beefy legs. It's a beefy this burger. A, this is a beefy burger boy. <laughs> I was inspired today because earlier Julia was just showing me the Twitter that shows all the Japanese mascots for like. A million things. Oh, Mondo mascots. Yeah, Mondo yeah, mascots. Mondo That's mascots. a good one. So I was seeing a lot of like real funky mascots oh, yeah. earlier today. He wearing sneakies. Yeah, he's got little sneakies on for doing like kicks, so he doesn't hurt his feet, his bare feet. Oh, uh, he doesn't have bare feet. He's got Look. just regular person feet uh, and legs. Uh, I, I want to correct the record on some fighting food on info that I may have been wrong about. Okay, here. please. So fried fried rice, the food on is is called actually fried ricer. Okay. Along okay. with other food on such as hot dog on it. Oh, that's fun. Burnt meatballs. Burnt meatballs. That's just <laughs> that's just that's just they cooked it wrong. <laughs> Shrimp daddy. <laughs> oh. Dim something special. Oh. Fruit turtle. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Fruit turtle. <laughs> I feel like you're alternating like between ones that are kind of clever and ones that are like just food and animal. Just a food, just a food, <laughs> and then something else. And then they have a fusion form. All of them fuse together to form feast of us. Oh, a feast of us for the rest of us. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Do I'm they not... have the airing of grievances? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm not saying that. You know, you have to do a fighting food ons episode. No one would uh, watch you know, it. Watch that. <laughs> Definitely don't. You know, write in the comments. I would watch a fighting food ons episode. <laughs> well, it's now fine. we know the names. <laughs> Not no, no. There's more. No, that's all of them. Oh. <laughs> we just draw fruit turtle three times. Fruit turtle. There's nothing funnier <laughs> than fruit turtle. I can't believe you've made me remember fighting food ons. <laughs> Can you imagine if like Pokemon in the next like generation they come out like all of them are you know Pokemon names and then one of them is just called Fruit Turtle? <laughs> <laughs> this one's Fruit Turtle. What? Well, shut up. <laughs> I didn't say anything yet. No, you didn't shut up. Give it's me a fruit chance turtle. to react. Shut up. It's like one of those things that they they put out the like prototype name out there first and yeah. they accidentally did that and now it's just canon. <laughs> fruit Turtle. Fruit Turtle. Fruit turtle. Fruit turtle. Great. This is a Jacob, this is a good drawing. We've barely talked about it. Thank you. I mean, there's nothing to talk about. I'm just drawing Burger Bear. I'm just drawing Burger Bear. If this isn't Burger Bear, it should be Burger yeah, Bear. Yeah, this should be Burger Bear. I love him. I love Burger Bear. I live for Burger Bear. We live for Burger Bear. Burger Bear goes into my canon of burger-related yeah. drawings with Burgoo King and Burger Regret. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm slowly building my own fighting food ons team. That are all burgers. That are all burger related characters. <laughs> yeah, this is done. Burger Bear. What more would I could I possibly do? No, nothing. There's nothing else. It's perfect. Do. My perfect size. It probably needs a championship belt, but you you would probably never be able to it's, do that. It's in it's in the cheese. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, in, it's there. in the folds. <laughs> <laughs> in the many folds of this bear. I like to imagine that like it is just like burger the whole body, but then there's just like a spinal cord. <laughs> yeah. That connects it, like top it's to like bottom. A it's like one of those toothpicks you yeah. get in the burgers. Yeah. <laughs> you All have right. to eat it like an apple to avoid the core. Don't eat this. <laughs> Don't eat this bear. Don't eat this bear. Yeah, you could try to eat this bear. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see how that goes rock. for you. There you go. Is it? <laughs>
<laughs> so it's you, this? it's the opposite. It's a bear. The body is the bear, <laughs> the and the, the bear. head, and the head, and I guess part of the torso is burger. In some of the images, you can see like kind of the bear-like teeth, kind of like the muzzle come, coming out a little bit. I don't. It, it's a mess. I can't <laughs> possibly. Does oh, I kind of see it. Does it have fries? Make... It has fries on the burger. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that it's happens. It's got an onion ring. I forgot to mention its manager is Bear Ranger. It's like a Power Ranger bear. So. Wow. <laughs> they really took an opposite approach to how I went at there's, this. It just goes to show there's no one right way to burger bear. Julia. Yes. Are you ready for your very obscure kaiju? Burger bear wasn't obscure? No. We've got Space Godzilla. <laughs> Space Godzilla. <laughs> He's the one in space. It's from uh, the movie uh, Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it. Gosh. What do you think Godzilla <laughs> thought when another Godzilla came out of space? And he's like, how am I supposed to stack up to this what shit? What the hell, you've been in space. I'm like you, but I can't go in space. Oh. Isn't Godzilla an iguana that got radiated? So, uh, yeah. Or so a was it, monster or something was like there that. A, a space iguana? Mm, what do you mean? Like, well, how okay, did you get? Well, I can tell you the backstory of okay, Space Godzilla. Yeah, how did helps. how did Space Godzilla come to be? Well, in every Godzilla movie, you need human characters to sort of explain what the go what's going on, right. what's happening. Yep. So uh, the human characters in Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. This is from the wiki. They hypothesized that Godzilla cells somehow got cast into space oh. and then fell into a black hole. Yep. And then began began assimilating crystalline organisms. You got And then came back out from a white hole. You evolving gotta rapidly. Keep track of your cells. By absorbing energy from exploding cells. <laughs> gotta make sure your cells don't Julia, go into all space. This? Julia, you get all this? Should I read uh, it again? Uh, uh, uh. It, they went to a black hole and came out a white hole as crystalline uh, is it a, it. But, but is when it, you go into a black hole, does, don't you turn into You go nothing? out the white hole. I don't, I don't uh, understand. If you're a Godzilla <laughs> cell, obviously you come out the other one as yeah. space Godzilla. Yeah. Uh, so he got sucked into a black hole. Well, the cells got the sucked cells into, into a black hole, spat out by a white hole. Just some of its absorbing cells. sun energy and then became basically uh, what is referred to sometimes as a clone of Godzilla. But it's been in space, made by a black hole, a space slash white hole. One of them space clones. Yeah, um, space Godzilla. Would it help if I if I told you the powers, the powers that the space Godzilla has? I can't see how it wouldn't help. It, Interstellar didn't prepare me for this um, possibility. The the list of superpowers that space Godzilla has is wild. <laughs> uh, it's got something called a gravity tornado. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah! Of course it does. Um, it allow this is from the wiki, allowing uh, Space Godzilla to float or transport transport other kaiju through the air. You said transport. Transport. <laughs> God damn it! I almost gave you the kaiju Rectuma, which is a giant <laughs> butt, and I should have given you that. No, come on. No, no. Next we time. already we already did that on uh, on Cartoon Hell. Oh, watch, okay. Watch it on Dropout. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice plug. Thank you. <laughs> Very natural. It was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> so what other powers? Uh, Gravity Tornado Gravity is my tornado. new gamer tag. Gamer <laughs> tag. Oh, they've got. He's got a uh, homing ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> space ghosts? Are they space homing, ghosts? Homing, homing ghosts. ghosts. Uh, which is raising crystals into the air and propelling them at an opponent and having them fall to the ground. Oh, they're not space ghosts. They could be. They kind of are. They're called ghosts. Do Listen, they, I'm drawing go, space ghosts. Do they go coast to coast? You know, we don't we we haven't been able to do proper tests to see how yeah. far they can go. Okay. Do they have any more moves? I only copied down a couple, but oh, well, you we don't... can probably go through a few more. I think, right? Only if they're funny. Only only if they're good. Yeah. You don't, don't want, want any... like something boring, like a Corona beam. Boring. Corona beam. <laughs> <laughs> that's just basically like the laser beam that shoots out of its mouth. No, that's you more know, of a that's Corona standard. man that's myself. That's what Vin Diesel likes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julia's drawing her space ghost. I feel like we can't let her get away with this. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's happening. Um, now you guys have to go watch that episode where mm -hmm. Julia drew this space ghost. Where I told Julia to draw space ghost and this is what she drew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A ghost in a helmet with a suit on. Because <laughs> I confused him with one of them lawyer characters. Harvey Birdman? Yeah. We're just lousy with refs on this episode and I love it. Please excuse our refs. This is what the people want. Uh-huh. Oops. It's got geokinesis. Oh, 
Hell yeah. Stop saying words at me. Um, that don't make sense. Please get the geokinesis in here. What does that so mean? This is also related kind of to the, the homing ghosts. Okay. From Wikizilla. Space Godzilla can control the ground around him by creating massive towering crystals. He's able to raise them up from the ground uh, to use as a means of defending himself or attacking his foes. Neat. So is he like one of those people that's like believes in the power of crystals? But <laughs> but like, like I, but they actually work for this. <laughs> but they actually work. Yeah, the power of crystals is very real for Space yeah, Godzilla. Yeah. I would believe in the power of crystals if I had something called geokinesis <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that could make crystals shoot up from the ground and impale sure. your foes. Sure. I do like his big, big haunch he his, gave him. Yeah, yeah, Julia's big haunch. Uh-huh. That's a uh, that's a signature haunch. Yeah. yeah. This okay. doesn't look like Godzilla at Hold all. Hold on. No, this is no. Space Godzilla. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> Julia, this is great. Okay. Uh, would, so... it, would it help you to know that he also has a uh, photon hurricane at his disposal? You know okay, it. so oh, wait. Gravity, you know gravity tornado, tornado, photon hurricane. Uh-huh. They're different. They're different. Yeah, One of yeah. them is a light... One of them is like a... Uh, it's like a little EMP kind of that's like a circular, like a little cloud. Like, okay. Like a little sound waves. Almost. Yeah, that makes sense. But regular Godzilla still beats this Godzilla. Uh, yeah, I yeah, of course. Okay. He, he, he gets help from like a robot. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Robots beat space. Yeah. Is what robot you plus just told Godzilla me. beat space. Mm-hmm. What's okay. happening to this Godzilla's face? He got so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walk us through. Uh, the black hole happened. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the white hole. And, and the white hole. Don't say that at me like I know what a white hole is. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what a black hole is. So a white hole is when you bleach a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can't accurately describe how many times Julia has like held her forehead. <laughs> yeah. This episode. In anguish. <laughs> just in pure she anguish. Is all, at all times. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's been it's been a lot, I feel like. Mm-hmm. You know? I hope that the Godzilla movie is such a huge success that they have to keep making them and run through all of these these monsters because they're they're loading up with like a bunch of the classics in this one, right? Yeah, they're we going got, for like a greatest hits. Yeah, so yeah. we got to get Space Gods. I mean, I can't imagine after all of the fighting Godzilla is going to do in this one that like none of its cells don't make it to space. You know, right. that's, true. that's true. At least some of them will make it to space, mm-hmm. and then we'll get Space Godzilla. Because when did this movie come out? I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to say it's the nineties. Nineties. Okay. Because I'd love to see some yeah. some contemporary SFX do sure. do a gravity tornado. Sure. Yeah, Godzilla versus Space Godzilla is uh, twenty five years old. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Space Godzilla! So this, he, he this had is, hurricane. This is as old as my brother. A photon hurricane, yeah. Okay. yeah oh, photon yeah, a photon hurricane. That's a little little tasty swirly. Mm. Got a cinnamon roll. Okay. Yum yum yum. He's a beautiful little cinnamon roll. Okay, a little, little hurricane. That's a little hurricane. Mm-hmm. Looks like I've drawn a little, little solar system by accident. Little Whoopsie Doppler. doodles. Okay. That's the photons. And a gravity tornado. A gra- how do I even... It's how a tornado. Do I even... And it's, yeah. It doesn't uh, need to be using all of its attacks at once. You that's can, true. You can why, just pick... Did, though. Why, can... why else would you have the powers if you can't use them all at once? That's a good that's point. That's true. Julia, you have to... Sorry. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> do you ever do you ever hear the song Sandwiches? Sandwiches? The song Sandwiches. It's like I like sandwiches. Sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches. I eat them all the time. Sandwiches are I eat beautiful. Them for my dinner and I eat them for my lunch. If, if I, I had a hunt, million sandwiches. Million sandwiches. I would eat them all at once. You, just like you that's know just a, like Godzilla power. You know a different wow. version of that song than I do. I know the correct I was version, I've maybe. I heard I knew it as a hundred. A hundred. Well, a hundred cents. Uh, you weren't dreaming big enough, dude. No. Well, that's 100 just cent, that's very attainable. I don't just change numbers in songs I hear <laughs> to bigger numbers. Unlike some people, I wasn't <laughs> dreaming big. At, I didn't hear the. Uh huh. <laughs> you were like a hundred sandwiches. That's probably enough for me. No, Nathan. Nope. Reach for the fucking stars. <laughs> Be an example. Uh, get a million sandwiches and get eat all those at once. Get a million sandwiches at once. Yeah. At once. yeah. It looks like it's like burning up on re-entry. <laughs> he like get, he makes it through the black hole and the white hole, but then like to get through Earth's atmosphere, it just burns up completely. <laughs> just a smoldering corpse that lands. It's like, well, 
Okay, I'm summoning all my space ghosts and my photon hurricanes and my gravity tornadoes and I'm still burning up. <laughs> Dang. Dang. <laughs> I like that I it's riding the tornado. <laughs> I hope they don't have a robot or else I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm not good against robots. <laughs> Is this done? <laughs> you tell me. Yeah. I don't know. I love him. Yeah? More lines. I drew a bad weather space Charmander. Uh huh. My Charmander from this is it's closer a to a Pokemon design than yeah. m the majority of your Pokemon drawings. I'm looking forward to this catching this legendary in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, <laughs> this is the one where people say they really jumped the shark. Yeah, right <laughs> <laughs> like, I just gave him too many moves. Uh, finally gravity too tornadoes, much. OP. Yeah, <laughs> get it out of here. It can only know four moves at a, at the same time. I want it to know gravity tornado and <laughs> photon hurricane and space ghosts <laughs> and <laughs> geokinesis <laughs> and fucking well, one of the other ones. Space claw. Space claw. That's just a normal claw, but from space. From Can we look up the real <laughs> one? <Yeah. laughs> oh, he's just got he's Godzilla just got crystals. He's just got <laughs> Godzilla. He's got Godzilla pauldrons. He's got this, pauldrons. This is this is if you made like a, a salt lamp out of a Godzilla. <laughs> 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 this is like Godzilla Epic Doubt in his tier three yeah. rating gear. Oh yeah, the Godzilla World Shaman yeah. for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got orange, some orange gear. <laughs> <laughs> He's like closer to a Blastoise than anything. Yeah, like, he hey, is. You know what's really painful? It's having like large teeth coming out of your shoulders. <laughs> it's really painful. <laughs> oh. Wow, the the people designing these kaiju, um, they were right. They were right to have those jobs. They did a good job. Yeah, I'm proud of them. They were correct. They were correct. You picked the correct people. I love this. I hope that Space Godzilla shows up in a future movie. I, I hope he's love... in the post credit sequence. Yeah, of this one. <laughs> you just you just see some crystals. Yeah, you, just, you see some matter, some uh, cells going into a black hole. Yeah, and you're like oh shit. And like and little the... like clickbait arrow points at them and goes, "These are cells." <laughs> just in case you're not sure. <laughs> and then and the a big person, red circle. Yeah, the person next to you is like, "What? What is that?" And you're like, "Space Godzilla. Like, Come on." Space the person next to you is, is Nick Fury. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what is that? <laughs> and it all ties in. It all, it all comes ties together. In. It's all the same uh -huh. universe. There's only one movie now. I'd like <laughs> you to join the Fighting Vudons initiative. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Cool. Th this has been Drawfee. I, I, have no I have nothing to add. Oh, please to this. watch Cannon City Comic Club. I'm oh, on yeah. Julia's on an episode. Yeah, that. It's yes, on I am. YouTube. It's on uh, Dropout as well. There's, we keep adding stuff to Dropout. The price stays the same, but we keep adding stuff. So sign it on up. Yeah, if you need more of that Tristan flavor, mm. Mm -hmm. there's a lot of Tristan flavor oh, in that. I don't know. It tastes <laughs> just like Tristan. Don't. Okay. Tristan's my favorite food. On. I, I'm accepting this promotion. Trisket I'm accepting tan. That's, that's too clever. Uh, okay. Fruit turtle. Fruit turtle. We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. Sorry. I am sorry. Hey, thanks for watching that episode of Drawfee. If you like Drawfee and the stuff we make, the best way to support us is by signing up for Dropout. For around the cost of a jug of mouthwash a month, you get access to Drawfee episodes a week early, as well as a exclusive Dropout Discord where you can chat with me. And you get access to the Dropout exclusive shows like Cartoon Hell, I Made That Show, Um Actually, which I was on, and Rank Room, which I was also on. It's a good time. Start your free trial. Go to dropout.tv. Please. Please. <laughs>